and hello, hello, hello again. And my name is Helmut Meshku, and I'm the founder of Host Maria. And today I will be showing a simple video how to change the name servers if your domain registrar is Namecheap. So Namecheap is one of the best domain registrars out there, and we definitely recommend using it. And so, okay, and let us start. Uh, so for this purpose, we have registered a domain uh, that is called mariahost.com. Let, let us show it. Show it to you, mariahost.com. And after you have bought a domain at Namecheap, you will have this landing page. So some ads, definitely Namecheap's brand, and here is the domain name. So what you need, to, so and after after you have purchased a hosting from us, probably that will be cloud hosting, you will see a panel like this. You will see a panel like this, and up here you will have a huge notification, huge yellow notification that says mariahost.com is currently not using our name servers. Our name servers are ns1, stackdns.com, ns2, ns3, ns4. So these are four name servers. And what you are required to do, so the first things first, after you buy a hosting, you need to set up name servers, name servers that the internet knows where the files and the databases are, are stored for your, for your next awesome website. So let us go straight to the name sheet. And here you would here here you would see the list of your domains you have bought. Here is mariahost.com. Yes, hostmaria.com is here as well. And you would go you would click here on mariahost, mariahost.com. Here we go. And it is it is very simple process. So up here there is a section name servers. So you would go instead of name change basic servers, you would go to custom DNS. And in casting DMS, there are two name servers, and you would add three more. Okay, so the name servers you are adding, and the name servers you are adding will be these ones. I put them on the screen, and they will be also put in the uh, in the description. NS2, NS3, and NS4. Is it? That's it. Save. You click on that green thing, and that's it. The green check mark. That's it. DNS service. Please have a look on this note. DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So, usually, usually, what happens um, when when you update name service, it can take up to 72 hours. Though Namecheap and GoDaddy are always good, and their name server changes usually do not take more than 12 to 48 hours how to check now that now the next would be how to know when the name servers have changed and for this there are many tools out there and we definitely recommend one of them and let me put it on the screen it is dnschecker.org uh once once you'll be opening the support tickets with us uh quite often we'll be uh, we'll be giving uh, references to this to the reports of this particular tool there are some other tools uh me personally i prefer this one as i think it is a bit more precise and a bit user friendly so we would go here so once you are in the dns check so you would go you first of all you would check you would change from a records to ns so name servers type in type in your domain name click search and you can see here the so the original uh, where the original name servers of uh of namecheap were dns1 dot registrars uh, dash servers dot com and ns uh, dns2 and you can see now the name servers are changing globally so all this process means and all you have to do is just come here times by times and click that search button again and you can see how more and more servers are catching up all around the world and are are creating records so the internet is getting ready for the information where your files will be stored that is it that is that is that simple so this was a simple 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 video on how to change your name servers for your domains at namecheap.com and please wait and please wait till this process is over please don't rush usually really 95 percent of the problems for the webmasters are related to for for them rushing please wait for the name servers to change 
Otherwise, you'll be dealing with temporary URLs, with stack staging. It is a great feature, but for new users, it can be quite painful. So please wait for this process to be finished. And then after that, so after this finished, after this process is finished, so let us let us let us refresh it. This this notification, this not this yellow notification would disappear. So oh okay, so at the moment it has disappeared, so it has it has caught up. And after this not this yellow notification has disappeared, you will be able. So the next thing you'll be able to do, you will be able to go to SSLs. And okay, and you will be able to activate your free SSL. Free SSLs are not available if the domain is not using our name servers. So yes, so all you have to do is just use this tool, please, and wait for the name servers to change globally. After that is done, and after you can see that you can enable your SSL, you are good to go. And this was a short video on how to change your name servers at namecheap.com. Thank you.